this or that with the original Sedrat Boise and the newer Intense Flanker. If you're unsure which one of these you should buy, which one's right for you, hopefully this video will help break down these two fragrances. So starting off with the original Sedrat Boise, and it is a similar scent profile to Aventus, which I'm sure you've heard of before. Whilst not being exactly the same as Aventus or the various clones that are available, it certainly has a similar DNA with the fruity opening, the woody dry down with the spices and oak moss. So it does have a similar scent profile to Creed Aventus, but in my opinion, it doesn't smell anywhere near as cheap as the clones do. So the clones like Armaf Club de Nuit Intense, Afnan Supremacy Silver, and a whole host of other cheaper clone fragrances, they can come across as smelling quite cheap. A Cedrat Boise doesn't give the same experience to my nose. It does smell more expensive. Now in Cedrat Boise, you do have a leather note. It's not an obvious leather, but it is there. It adds a more reassuring masculine presence to the fragrance and that is something that's not included in Creed Aventus at least not in the uh, recent formulations so it does have some differences to Creed Aventus and overall I just think it's a really high quality easygoing versatile scent this is like something you can wear every day and to be honest the price is really fair on discounters you can buy this for around 90 pound it is readily available on discounters for around that price and let's face it that's cheaper than a lot of designer fragrances at the moment it's fruity, it's got clean woods and this delicate leather note. The leather note is not pronounced at all. Don't worry about it. It's smelling leathery. It doesn't smell leathery. It's just there to add as a backbone to the scent. I actually prefer Cedrat Boise over Creed Aventus, especially the current batches that you can buy. I think this is high quality. It lasts longer and I think you just get better value for money. And in terms of the scent, it's a more interesting scent as well. It's a bit more fruity in the opening. And I think overall, I find it more enjoyable. So this is is Cedrat Boise the original? This is the Eau de Parfum version. Now let's look at the newer Intense Flanker. So this is Cedrat Boise Intense. So this came out last year, I believe. Now this goes in more of its own direction as an independent fragrance that hasn't got any similarities to other popular fragrances. So this doesn't smell, uh, to my nose, as similar to Creed Aventus as the original does. This goes in a different direction completely. I love what they've done with this fragrance because sometimes when you have a, an intense version or just a, an additional flanker to a fragrance that's already popular it doesn't always make it better but in my opinion they have made Cedrat Boise better but they are still not redundant to own both and we're going to explain that in a minute so the first few seconds when you spray this on it is similar to the original but it turns much more sweet much more spicy and the fruity notes in here are different to the original in the original I explained you had a very vibrant energetic lemon note with bergamot in here it focuses more on the juicy fruity notes such as black currant it's sweeter it has vanilla in here as well so it certainly just adds to the sweetness and the depth vanilla also lasts really long on my skin so normally when you have a fragrance with vanilla in as an additional note it lasts longer and this is a much longer lasting fragrance on me than the original is but it does lose a lot of the freshness because of the additional leather and spicy notes that are in here Overall, Cedrat Boise Intense is still fresh. It does still have some fresh elements to it, but it's a darker version. It's more of a, a nighttime version, or you could even argue a colder weather version. So let's say you wanted to own both of these because they are both nice fragrances, and I don't think there is a, I don't think there's a reason why you shouldn't own both necessarily if you love the scent. So the original Cedrat Boise could be your daily driver fragrance, right? The one you wear to work every day. The fragrance that is versatile, fresh, clean, easy to wear. It doesn't matter when you wear it, you know you're going to smell good. The intense version then could work as the nighttime fragrance. Perhaps you're going out on the weekend, perhaps you need just a, a nice date night, nighttime, evening fragrance, whatever you're doing in the evening. This is going to be a darker, sweeter, and longer lasting fragrance than the original. You could also look at it as the uh, this is like the spring and summer version. And then when it gets colder, autumn and winter, you can go for this. The vanilla and spices in here really make it great for the cooler weather. Oh, Cedrat Boise Intense, I do get better performance on. And overall, I like the scent better. I think it's just a better scent profile and I find it more enjoyable. So if I had to choose only one in my collection and buy just one again, I would choose the Intense Flanker over the original. Now, both of these are very popular on my fragrance sample website. I mean, we sell these every day. I've gone through multiple bottles of both of these. So they're very popular fragrances. If you do want to sample these, do head over to visionaryfragrances.com where you can try a sample of both of these fragrances let me know which one do you prefer